Hey guys, what's going on? Will here from Tech Tech Reviews, and today I'm back with another video for the MacBook Air series here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys what editing is like on the new MacBook Air. I've been getting a lot of questions overnight, you know, how does editing run, what are export times like in iMovie. So let's go ahead and open up iMovie here, this is what we're going to be using to edit this. Uh, first of all, you can see it boots up fairly fast. That's due to the SSD, not the processor, obviously. Uh, SSD is a, a lot faster than a hard drive, which means that programs can access it a lot faster, or you can access the programs depending on what way you want to look at it. So first of all, you can see we have a project open here. Let's go ahead and import our video. Import from camera. Uh, we have a memory card adapter here just plugged into the side via USB. Obviously, the 11-inch MacBook Air does not have a built-in memory card reader. So let's go and untick this first one that I kind of messed up on that take. Um, and by the way, this is the review of the uh, Moshi ClearGuard for the MacBook Air 11 inch. There'll be an annotation on this video somewhere if you want to go and check that video out. So the video itself, as you can see, is around 4 minutes and 30 seconds long. So it's a kind of an average size video. Let's go ahead and import this here. You guys can see my import settings. Uh, now I'm going to port this to the full original size. So we're not going to be compressing this at all while we're importing it. Uh, we're going to create a new event here called uh, Moshi Keyboard Review. Uh, we're going to leave it as that and just click Import. And you guys can see the time will appear at the bottom. 2 minutes 25 until completion, 2 minutes 30. So it looks to be around the 2 minute mark there. 2 minutes 14, 2 minutes 17. Uh, you guys get the gist you can see on the screen here, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and then come back when it's finished. So the clip just finished and porting here. Overall it took probably around 1-2 to two minutes and then another 15 seconds on top of that for obviously processing the thumbnails. So uh, I've already created an, a project here, let's go ahead and import the whole video into this project. Just drag and drop that. Uh, you can see that there is no lag whatsoever, it's all very exact. Um, it doesn't take any time at all for it to kind of realize where your pointer is and you can see uh, just scrolling through the video here is happening instantly no lag at all works very seamlessly and smoothly in terms of playing the video obviously this is just going to work like playing a video in QuickTime let's just go ahead and uh, add a couple of effects here let's go to transitions you can see again opens very quickly scroll down here let's do a fade to black at the start here there we go as you can see adds uh, almost instantly Go ahead and change the duration to one second. Click done. And there we go, as you can see, that's done. So let's go ahead and add a couple more effects here. Uh, double click on this and add a video effect here. Uh, I'm not going to keep this on, but uh, let's just click a, uh, choose a vignette. There we go, as you can see, again, scrolls through very nicely, adds instantly, and there we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this video here and actually edit the video properly and take out all of these random transitions, and then I'll be back after I've finished that. So I've just kind of finished editing the video here. Uh, let's go ahead and export this. The video itself is now 3 minutes 17 seconds long. Kind of managed to clip quite a lot of that time out. Uh, so let's go ahead to, uh, to share here. Uh, click export movie. We're not going to use the quick time option here just for the sake of this video. Uh, we're going to click HD 1080p here and name this Moshi Keyboard. Uh, keep it as that. And let's click export. Obviously I'm going to have to uh, fast forward this here. But time remaining you can see it's around 20 minutes. 17, 22, 17, 19, uh, 16. So overall it's going to take about 20 minutes for a, a 3 minute long video. Uh, really not that bad considering the size of this machine, obviously you have to think about the processor. Uh, the SSD does make up for some of that, but anyway let's go ahead and fast forward uh, through to this so we can see the end result. So there we have it, the export has just finished. Overall it took about 20 minutes, so that's really your decision whether you think that's fast or slow. Obviously, obviously it's going to be slower than say an iMac or a MacBook Pro. Uh, bearing in mind you know, how thin this is, how small it is, uh, I was very impressed with this considering my laptop, my old laptop, took around two hours to render a video you know, this size, so this is really a walk in the park for me. Thank you so much for watching this video, please rate, comment and subscribe, I'll see you guys in the next video, have a fantastic day.